Hi friends, what's on my mind today? Well, an old story about a 15 year old story. 15 years ago I went to our local grocery store, uh, the one named El Torito in Plaza Bougainvillean. And I've always liked to have, uh, occasionally, a sausage patty with my eggs in the morning. And when I lived in the States, uh, one of my favorite brands was um, Jimmy Dean Hot Sausage, the spicy one. So I would buy those tubes, you know, they're about this big. And uh, in the States, it's like, you know, um, even in the motorhome last uh, winter, I, I bought some. It's like less than $3 a tube for the small tube. Well, 15 years ago, I found one at El Torito. And I guess uh, this fits into my Do You Want to Retire in Mexico YouTube channel because it is a story about retiring in Mexico. When you uh, first come down here, you're going to have certain preferences for things that uh, were staples in your diet or staples in your hygiene um, that you got used to living in your home country and when you come here those things may or may not be available. One of the ones that I'm always teasing Lynn about was Hidden Valley Ranch Dressing Mix, the kind that comes in a, a, a foil pack and it's a dry powder that you mix and um, you couldn't get it here. Actually, no, that's not true. You could get it here, but at like El Torito or our other grocery store where there are many, many imported products from the United States, um, it was like about $6 a pack. And uh, that's one of the things that we always used to tell people who were coming to visit us, bring us a few packages of the Hidden Valley salad dressing mix, the dry mix, because it was like a dollar in the United States at the time and it was six dollars here. Anyway, the Jimmy Dean sausage, I found a package of it at El Torito. And um, I'm not complaining, by the way, about the high price of imported products. I understand that there are shipping charges um, and also there's a, a duty that uh, the Mexican government imposes upon imported products. I'm not complaining about the high price of things at, uh, you know, imported products. Even though it is a little ridiculous to go to uh, the store and on one shelf see chicken noodle soup for $4 a can. And right below it, uh, pollo con tolares, which is chicken noodle soup in Spanish and it's about a dollar a can. I'm talking about dollars because most of you are in the United States. They aren't priced in dollars, they're priced in pesos. Anyway, the Jimmy Dean sausage. It was 90 pesos. Now, 15 years ago, the exchange rate was about 10 to 1. That means that that little package of Jimmy Dean sausage, I took it up to the cash register and I said, scan this and tell me how much it is. 90 pesos, $9. I didn't buy it. I came home and I went on the internet and I found my own recipe for sausage. And so I've been making my own sausage with ground pork sausage patties for all these years and I've become so accustomed to it that I actually do the same thing when I'm in the motorhome in the States with ground sausage and this recipe of spices. I'm going to make sausage today and you're going to watch me. Well, I shouldn't say you're going to watch me. <laughs> you, you may have already decided not to watch me. <laughs> you know, in my last video I uh, I said I was going to do a rant about masks, masks, wearing masks, and um, I have some things to say about that, but first we're going to make sausage. 
please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Oh, uh, the other day, somebody asked me, why don't I have grates on my stove? And sometimes when people ask me these kind of questions, I just say, well, not everything in Mexico makes sense. This isn't one of those. The deal is that every time I do the dishes, I take the grates off and I made a video and I hadn't put the grates back on. So I'm putting the grates back on. I learned that every time you wash your dishes, you wash the top of the stove. And I learned that from my maid. That would be the maid that uh, has had uh, three months paid vacations because we are isolating in our house and don't want anybody coming. So, here's my stuff that I'm going to make the sausage with today. Let's do it. First I buy uh, ground pork. I think I said ground sausage a minute ago, but it's not ground sausage until I make it sausage. Ground pork, and that was uh, 87 pesos a kilo. Ooh, three points in the wastebasket. 87 pesos a kilo. That's uh, a kilo is 2.2 .2 pounds. 87 pesos. Exchange rate today is about 22. That's a dollar 79. A pound and this is about uh, 0.4 kilos which is close to a pound and that's what my recipe is for it's for a pound so the spices I use and again many many years ago I got this recipe off of the internet and it was supposed to be at the time Jimmy Dean sausage uh, over the years, I've added a few things and changed out a few things of my own. Uh, so, ground pepper, a uh, quarter of a teaspoon. I get uh, coarse ground pepper at uh, Costco in Guadalajara. That's the pepper I use. Ginger, quarter of a teaspoon. Nutmeg, uh, nutmeg is a uh, quarter of a teaspoon, and I'll measure it because it comes out of this thingy here. And just put some in there. Uh, thyme. Uh, that's a quarter of a teaspoon. Thyme in Spanish is tomillo. Some of that. I like it. I'm going to put in a little more. Uh, paprika. Quarter of a teaspoon of paprika. Getting down to the bottom of that one. And I put in, instead of salt, and this is a teaspoon of salt, I don't use salt. I use caldo de res, which is uh, beef bullion, essentially. It's uh, a powder here. And uh, that's what I use instead of salt. It gives it a little more flavor. And that stuff is very salty, so it works both ways. And in order to make it hot sausage, I put in a half a teaspoon of cayenne. Then you need to just a touch of water to get that stuff all mixed up. And just mix it up. So now I'm going to make the patties. 
And uh, I use a little water in a dish here just to keep my hands kind of wet. Uh, bottled water if you're in Mexico. Speaking of water in Mexico, we do drink bottled water and we cook with bottled water here at our home. We don't have a uh, purification system. Uh, so we buy bottled water, costs about, uh, it's 25 pesos for 5 gallons. Uh, the reason I use the water is because it keeps your hands from sticking to the sausage. Make a ball and smash it out. I'm putting these on uh, a cookie sheet and when I get them made I'm going to put them in the freezer. Put the whole cookie sheet in the freezer and after they're frozen solid, I take them off of the cookie sheet and put them in a Ziploc bag and keep them in the freezer. And when I get ready to use one, I take it out and I put it on a saucer and put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, full power. That thaws it out enough that I can throw it in the skillet and uh, how I do it. A little more water. Yeah, that one's kind of big. Put it with that one. It's the last of it. Just try to make them equal. And uh, there we have it. Uh, what did we say? $1.79 a pound. It was about a pound. $1.79 worth of sausage. Those go in the freezer. Two, four, six, eight. A lot better than $9 for that little tube. Perfect. So what else is going on today? Well, for dinner tonight, I have some uh, leftover um, chili verde. That's uh, pork that I do in the uh, pork um, that I do in the um, Well, what else is going on today? Uh, for dinner, I'm going to have some chili verde pork that I made in my pressure cooker yesterday. And um, we're going to have that in a bun. And I'm going to make a fruit salad. I'm going to use a delicious apple, a peach, and a nectarine. Cut that up into little pieces and mix it up with some uh, whipped cream out of a can. That's how I make fruit salad. I'm also going to make some fresh salsa. I have Roma tomatoes. I have one of these peppers I forgot the name of. And I have a jalapeno for a little heat. Also, Ah, there they are. I'm going to snap a bag of green beans and cook those later with um, some bacon and onion. And uh, then I keep those in the refrigerator and use them for a vegetable with meals uh, for a few days. The salsa we make we call salsa mexicana because it's the three colors of the Mexican flag. Red, white, and green. 
I'm still going to talk to you, but I'm going to sit on the couch and do it about my mask rant. Well, I did sit on the couch and talk about wearing a mask, but I decided not to put it at the end of this video because some of you might like a rant. Some of you really enjoy it when I get wound up. And uh, some of you just might not care about it at all. So I decided to just make it a separate video. And if you want to watch it, you can watch it. I'll put a link up here. But uh, if you don't care about it, or if I get a bunch of crap about it, I'll just delete it. Thanks for watching me make sausage today. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.